totally saying. Yeah. So just remember that your next Epcot vacation. Please stand clear of the doors. Por favor, manténganse alejado de las puertas. What's up, people? That's where we are. This is Epcot. We had a little day driving around. We did a little bit of shopping. We kind of took our time getting here. Um, it's later in the day than we usually get here, but um, it's all good. Stop over here at Epcot. It's late, 4.45 in the day. We're gonna just relax a little bit. The rain seems to have stayed away. A late day at Epcot is better than no day at Epcot, is what I always say. And uh, there you can see Epcot right there. We're gonna head in there. We haven't been here in a couple weeks. Um, last time we were here, even on Disney property, was uh, for the preview of Tiana's Bayou Adventure, which we ended up not even being able to ride because uh, they had ride difficulties. They had a special preview day for pass holders and uh, there was all kinds of issues. So, um, so there was that, but so we're good to be back here at Epcot. It's been probably at least three weeks since we've been here. And uh, since then, they've opened the uh, Communicore Plaza in the back part of Epcot. And um, we're going to see that for the first time today, too. They have a new show, Encanto show. And we're going to be able to see that as well. So, And then we'll probably watch the fireworks and uh, maybe have a beer, maybe have a drink or whatever. And uh, either way, just enjoy ourselves because we're here at Epcot. How are you? Good, how are you? And there you see it, the, uh, the multi-day tickets, two days, 2 99 and then the single day tickets, the ticket prices will be coming up, one day tickets, right now we're going for uh, 174 you want to make it a park, park hopper, it's uh, 233. And it allows you to visit more than one, you know, more than one park. So 174 for the Magic Kingdom, 159 here at Epcot, 169 at Hollywood Studios, and 149 at uh, Animal Kingdom. So uh, there you see it. It's an expensive little day, but it's well worth every penny. And we are now in Epcot. So we're gonna uh, proceed through as you first come in up to this little plaza here and the fountain and then of course spaceship earth which is amazing every time you see it it's just once you lay eyes on it every time you come here it's just an amazing thing to see so one of the only freestanding if not the only freestanding sphere yeah, but you go right underneath it and the whole round ball is right here right in front of you no line for spaceship earth today and that's always a always a good ride to check out. La calle. Go. Thank you. I don't even know Spanish and I was singing. So, <laughs> thank you. All right, so we just finished watching the uh, great little band over there in that new, the new section by Community Call Hall. Um, great job. Uh, Spanish, Calypso type music, really good. I don't speak Spanish, but um, everything. I was singing along to something. I don't know what I was singing, but I was singing something. And we're gonna pop in over here to the Creation Shop. and. Uh, this is like the main gift shop here at Epcot, and you can always find 
never know what you're going to find. So we're going to pop in, see what's new. And uh, probably not buy anything, but we're just going to stop in and browse, see what's going on. And they just have, I mean, pretty much anything you're looking for in this place, they do have it. So pop in here. Always pop in here if you're at Epcot. Gonna head out of Creations gift shop, and then apparently they're still giving out the magnet, the uh, pass holder magnet. You gotta make a U-turn if we're going back towards UK. And we're back out here, heading over to UK now. Um, over in the World Showcase. Brilliant. It is perfect right now, actually. For June, this is a, you can't ask for better than this. Because so, it could be, a, a couple weeks ago, we were out here at Magic Kingdom. It was a scorcher. You couldn't even be out for 20 minutes without having to look to go back in the AC. You know, and that's that's what happens here in uh, in Florida. You'll have a day like this. It's supposed to rain all day. But with the cloud cover, uh, it kind of keeps it keeps the temperatures down a little bit. So you can kind of, you luck out. If you don't get the rain, you're going to end up with a really nice day. So... And that's what we have now upon us. Um, the sun just really started to pop out the last couple hours, late in the day. So the daytime heat was over. And the uh, sun will be setting here shortly. And there's a little breeze. And it's going to turn out to be probably a really nice evening. And we're going to probably watch the fireworks and see what happens there. The new show that they have is uh, Luminous, and that has been going since the uh, since December, December fifth. Actually, we came out that night for the premiere and uh, for that opening show, and it, that that replaced Epcot Forever, uh, which was replaced which replaced Harmonious, and that replaced uh, Illuminations, Illuminations Reflections of Earth which to me was one of my favorite shows here at Disney. And uh, that went away. Then those other two shows, and then they brought this show back on, the um, Luminous. And this has been probably, this is probably gonna run for quite a while, I'm thinking. It's in, each time you see it, it gets better and better. So uh, if you ever come out here, if you're in Disney kind of vacation, come out here for a week, try to catch the show a couple times. Don't think just because you've already seen it once, uh, you're done. Come out and see it another time because uh, they just, there's a certain way that they, they do things. And you'll pick up on other things the next time you see it. And the next, each time we see it, we've probably seen it eight, nine, ten times already. And every time we see it, we pick out something different. So you owe it to yourself to come out here and, uh, and check it out a few times if you can while you're here. And now we're back here. This is uh, UK, across on the Rosa Crown. It kind of goes back towards these little gift shops. And this is another thing. You're on the scooter, you get on these little cobblestone streets, it gets bumpy, so um, just something to be ready. And I have suspension on this scooter, so um, it's just one of those things when you're on these. It gets real bumpy, though. You don't realize how bumpy these are. Huh. <laughs> yeah, you don't realize how bumpy these roads are until you're actually on something with wheels. And uh, it's real bumpy. And right back here in the UK, this is called the Toy Soldier. Pretty cool little gift shop. Um, a lot of pool merchandise, Tinkerbell, Peter Pan, Mary Poppins. And this is the merchandise inside this Toy, Sh toy Soldier gift shop. And they have a really cool little uh, poo raincoat. And if you know anything about Babe, Babekins, she's a big, that's who's her guy. That's really cool. Oh my God. It gets oh man. Yeah, that is pretty cool. <laughs> <laughs> I like it. And that's fairly new. We didn't see that last time we were here. There's 
a lot of new, um, looks like cool merchandise right back here. Um, shirts. They got some drink bottles. And some dish towels right there. It's like a, a kind of a new pattern over here against this wall. And that's kind of the pattern for this new, um, the new merchandise. All right, we move along from the UK Pavilion. It's pretty cool back in there. It's a little celebration of British culture and history. Uh, it's designed to simulate a little British village. So um, has some buildings that are inspired by periods of British architecture. Little gardens back there. There's even a little hedge maze and a bandstand. Um, and all these little surroundings adds to the experience. We've got some shops back there selling tea, uh, toys, clothing, even Beatles merchandise. They even have little telephone boxes. So make sure you check out the UK Pavilion. Catching bands, playing music like Beatles, Please, Rolling Stones, Zeppelin. Uh, it's a lot of fun back in the UK Pavilion at Epcot. All right, and then as you leave uh, UK, you move along the countries here. Um, next country, as I said, is going to be France. Go over this little bridge. Following our way around, working our way around um, counterclockwise around World Showcase. Sun is starting to set. The rain is still holding off. All right, we ended up back out towards the front of the park. Now we just uh, just buzzed around from France. Now we're back here around over by Creations Gift Shop again, and uh, we're working our way now. This time we're going to go to the left, go back towards um, Mexico. Getting a little crazy around here as it usually does this time of night. We're about an hour away from the uh, start time of the fireworks show, and it starts to get busy. But we're going to work our way back towards Germany for a minute really good if you like beer they got some really good German beer so it'll probably take a little bit because we have to go through a couple countries Mexico Norway uh, China and then eventually back towards Germany so but hey yeah, take your time you get there and uh, look at the night sky all the way you hard to see on this video but they're all up in the trees hundreds and hundreds of birds And they know, they're just waiting for the park to close and then they're gonna swoop down here and find whatever scraps they can. And the park basically cleans itself. And this is Germany right here. And if you look up there, you'll see a, uh, there's a stein. And that's the stein that we were hunting for. And if you look over here, this is the uh, stein that we just got. And this beer stein, if you look at here, which is very hard to see, if you look here like this, that is right there. All right, so we're gonna wrap it up now. We are heading out to the car. We are officially out of Epcot. You see the, um, I don't, yeah, it's like, yeah, 1040. So the park, the park closed at 9 and it's 10 40. We're heading back to the car now. So we had a good time. It was a great day. The rain stayed away. We didn't get affected by rain at all, even though we had all our rain gear. We had a good time and we will see you on our next journey here to Epcot. So have a good night. Thank you.